<clears throat> All right, Shalom. This is Gamal Ayala out of Great Millstone, Atlanta. <clears throat> I want to give our praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, Shalom to all the Akim that pushing out this truth and sincerity. All right, now uh, this is a quick lesson. And uh, this is going to be uh, entitled Prophets Indeed. All right, and. Um, you know, uh, just just basically a uh, general general lesson on the on the subject. All right. Because, uh, you know, in our in our camps in these different various camps, uh, Great Millstone and other camps as well that follow the doctrine of Great Millstone. All right. We are the prophets. OK, we're the true prophets. All right. And, um, <clears throat> you know, um, one thing that that uh proves it okay is number one um number one we have the true doctrine so what we say comes to pass through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. all right as a matter of fact um this is the word prophet and adam online it says person who speaks for the most high one who foretells inspired preacher Okay, now <clears throat> it says one person who speaks for the Most High. Okay, which we know that that um, the men of the Lord are the mouthpieces for uh, for the Heavenly Father and His Son. Okay, all right. The Lord speaks through men. All right. It says an interpreter, spokesperson, proclaimer. Okay, <clears throat> pro meaning before, forward, uh, let me see, yeah, pro meaning before, and uh, then fene, fenai, which means to speak, okay, to speak before, okay, and um. You know, so so and and one thing about it is, you know, we here at Great Millstone, okay, we've seen I've seen personally men prophesy. Okay, I've seen men in the spirit of the Heavenly Father. Okay, I've seen men in the spirit of Yahweh Shai that have <clears throat> you know that speak on behalf of of the Lord, okay? You know, we see it all the time. We see it at camp. We see it amongst each other when, when we're just speaking, okay? And, and not only that, but we've seen things come to pass. All right, we've seen things come to pass, um, you know, that, that, uh, that, <laughs> That men have said. Okay. All right. So this is Hebrews. Uh, <clears throat> let me get it. Hebrews 101. It says the most high. Yahweh who at sundry time, sundry times and diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. Okay. So in time past. Okay. He, uh, the Lord spake unto the prophets, okay, unto the fathers, unto the fathers by the prophets, okay. So he speaks to men, okay, unto, uh, uh, I mean, sorry, by the prophets, okay. He uses, the, the Lord uses his, his, um, he inspires men, okay, and puts the spirit on them. To speak, all right, because the Lord, Yahweh Shemuel Shai is not going to come down and 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 you know, <clears throat> come down and proclaim things to, amongst you people. Okay, He's going to set up men, okay, on earth, okay, because if if the Lord did that, okay, then, well, first of all, number one, according to prophecy, he's he's only he's bound to prophecy, so he can't just come down you know, at any point, 
and reveal himself. Okay, he has to wait, you know, until until the allotted time to come down, you know, to come down and, and, and deal with you people, okay? But, you know, the point being is that he's not going to, he's not going to do that, okay? He's going to set up, he's going to put his spirit in men, okay, to give you this truth or to give you a message. <clears throat> we're angels. Uh, angel means messenger, all right? And we're the angels on earth, okay? The Lord has mess he, the lord has angels on earth all right which is the elect which are set up to bring messages to people to you to you know whether it be for judgment or whether whether it be for good or whether it be for bad okay it says uh verse two hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son all right so like i said he's speaking unto us by his son all right whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Okay, so that's simple. You know, that doesn't really need to be um, broken down. Matter of fact, I'll keep going. It says, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of, of the majesty on high. Yeah, and Yahweh Shai, he sits at the right hand of the throne. And it said, you know, upholding all things, and he purged our sins. You know, he purged the sins of the elect. <coughs> Verse 4. <coughs> because this is what I, uh, this is going to tie into what I said about us being angels. Lord willing, we are of the elect. Verse 4, being made so much better than the angels as he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. And this is talking about Yahweh Shai. It says being, he's, it says being made so much better than angels. Okay. Which didn't Yah, did Yahweh Shai not say that, um, you know, we shall, well, uh, number one, okay. Um, it says that we shall judge, the elect shall judge the angels. Okay. <clears throat> Now, um, you know, uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, it says he, he being made so much better than the angels. So he's, he's in a higher seat, you know, in the, in the, with the order of things. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let me see. That's pretty much the point. Okay. That's the point on that. So let's go to second. Peter, Second Peter 1 and 20. It says, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. For prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of the Most High spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Okay, so... You have men, as a matter of fact, let me jump up to verse 19. It says, we also have a more sure word of prophecy. Okay, and, and um, how do we have a more sure word? We have a more sure word because we have the spirit of the Lord. Okay, we, we understand the scriptures. Okay, we can use these scriptures and, and, you know, use it in line with what's happening today to decipher the times, to discern the times that we're in. Okay, it says, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed. So you got to take heed. That's that's what that's what um, a prophet, you know, that's that's what you people ought to do. You know, when a prophet is, is speaking to you, okay, you better take heed. It says, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. Okay. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the of this scripture is of any private interpretation. Yes, yeah, so that means you can't take your own spin to it. Okay, you can't make these scriptures to your liking. I did a lesson on that, uh, my last lesson. You can't take these scriptures and bend them to and, and twist them. You know, these prophecies 
you know, they have a particular breakdown. It's a it's objective, not subjective. OK, so there's only one truth when it comes to these prophecies. Now it says verse. 21 for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. So this is not a thing of men because the scriptures also say if this thing be of men, it shall come to naught. This is not a thing of men. This is a, this is a higher power. OK, this is very this is the power. OK, the supreme power. OK, Yahweh Ba Shem Shai, the supreme powers. OK. It says, but holy men of the most high spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. You know, and let's break that down. Holy men. Holy means separate. OK, sanctified. So holy men, these are separate men. These are not just no ordinary men. Okay, but it says they spake, holy men of the of the of Yahweh Shai spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is not given to everybody. That's separate. It's separate. So they spake unto people. All right. So let's go back to this person who speaks for the most high okay one who foretells now in order in in order to have an accurate um foretell you know uh, in order to have an accurate you know uh uh future you know um uh, prophecy <laughs> prophecy in order to have an accurate prophecy okay you have to you have to be inspired by the Most High. Okay, you have to. The Most High got to be dealing with you. Yeah, I'll say, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, they got to be dealing with you, man. Okay, for you to be able to accurately. As a matter of fact, let's get that. Um, Jeremiah 28. I'm going to start at 8, but the point is in 20. Uh, there's a 9. It says, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And that's that's what prophets do, okay? If the Lord is bringing the... Well, first of all, every great kingdom has a fall, all right? And when you have, um, you know, at the at the very end of a kingdom if the lord is proclaiming the end of a kingdom all right he's going to use his prophets like like i established before all right but it says you know the prophets they prophesied against countries and against great kingdoms okay so we're against we're against these great kingdoms man all right we're not we're not on the side of this place going on we want this place to go down Okay, so that the Lord can usher in the kingdom of heaven. It says of evil, of war, and of evil and of pestilence. And that's what's getting ready to happen. Now, the point is right here uh, that I was getting ready to make. It says the prophet which prophesieth of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord had truly sent him. So in order to know whether... The Lord had sent you <coughs> in order to know accurately whether the Lord has sent someone. Okay, the Lord got to be dealing with you. Okay, it says when when the when the word shall come to pass. So that's how you know when if somebody be true or not. That's how you know <coughs> when a prophet is the real deal. Is when what they say comes to pass. And guess what? What we say at Great Millstone, the prophecies that are in the Bible that we break down, they're going to pass 100%. And you're going to see. We we know. We know 100% fact that these the prophecies in this Bible are going to happen. There will be a MOTB which will be made mandatory. All right, a uh, uh, CA 